Hey folks, good afternoon. Jason Shepard here with the Anchor Room. I want to briefly talk about this installation of our new paint protection film, paint and lens protection to be exact. Um, the tools that are going to be required um, to install this film, um, very similar to what you may already have, um, with maybe one exception, which is the application fluid or what we call slip, which we will gladly give you the formula for so it can make things a bit easier. It's not an absolute necessity, but it is what we prefer to use when installing this paint and lens protecting film. Standard um, tools in front of us, we have a spray bottle, a felt tip squeegee, and we use that felt tip for obvious reasons so that it doesn't scratch the material that we're installing or the actual surface that we're installing it on. And then we have a microfiber towel. Um, the slip that I mentioned is, like I said, a little different than the standard application fluid. The uh, actual recipe for slip that we use is eight ounces of isopropyl alcohol, eight ounces of water, and one milliliter of baby shampoo. It seems to be the absolute perfect combination and solution. Um, the alcohol evaporates quickly, giving the um, opportunity for the decal or lens protection film to stick. And the fact that it's baby shampoo and water makes sure that there's no clouding underneath the surface of the actual material. Um, all right, let's go outside and um, take a quick peek at the uh, general installation of a piece, and we'll go from there. All right, so here we are um, at that uh, rear quarter panel in the car. Um, and I guess the intention behind this video is to really show you about constraint points or alignment points because that's what's going to really put the material into place. With most of our other templates, if you're familiar with our product, um, especially the tint templates, we purposely overcut them slightly between a 16th and a 32nd, sometimes even a 64th depending on the piece, to make sure that they taper properly. Um, in this case, with the paint protection material, we do just the opposite because you don't want it to wrap around corners. Um, in this particular application, you got alignment points. You got that piece on the door right here, the curvature, that point, and then the curvature on the rear well. Um, we only have to do one video, in my opinion, for this because if you follow the contour of the car, you'll always be in good shape. Um, we're going to use white vinyl so you can actually see what we're doing. I'm going to spray the surface, spray my fingers, spray the material, um, and get this in place. Again, like I said, simply line up the rear piece, the front piece. You're about to split the distance there. And you can lay the back side down, as you can tell. So it perfectly follows the contour. It follows the car here. Now you realize that's not laying down yet, but the front side is perfect, and that contour matches there also. And at this point, taking your squeegee, and we have the felt tip squeegee here, and we strongly suggest the use of it. Um, you can lay down the back side and follow the contour, like I mentioned. As you can tell, I'm doing this one-handed, so um, there we go. Lay it down, and then you just follow the material down towards the bottom, and you get it to lay down completely. You might have to put a little pressure behind it, especially towards this general area, but once you start to stick, you should be in good shape. Be patient. might take a couple of tries. But once all that material, or that application fluid, in this case, we're using some slip, once it all disappears, and you're moving it all from out from underneath, it should be in good shape. Alright, there we go. Thank you for your purchase, and have a great day.